Joining me now with more on the uptick in terror and Israel's response, journalist and senior research fellow with the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs, Yoni Ben Menachem. Yoni, it's great to have you with us now. A lot of attention has been paid Thank to you. Jenin. What more can you tell us about the significance of this, uh, of, of this refugee camp? It's not only the refugee camp, it's also the city of Jenin and a few villages that are surrounding uh, Jenin, like uh, Kabatia, Yamun. Uh, these are all uh, became uh, bases of terrorism. They are, full, they are full with uh, armed uh, terrorists, uh, Palestinian terrorists. Uh, they have a lot of uh, weapons. Why these uh, cities more than more so than others, though? The it's not it's not uh, it's almost a tradition. If you remember, 20 years ago, uh, the IDF uh, occupied the uh, uh, Jenin and the uh, refugee camp and uh, cleared the, the place from uh, the terror nests uh, that were in the camp. Uh, the uh, PA, the Palestinian Authority, they lost control uh, during the last two years over this area gradually. And Israel uh, uh, warned the, the Palestinian Authority, you have to uh, take care of the situation, the security situation in Jenin, because the, the situation is deteriorating and the military groups are gaining more power. You have to arrest them. You have to uh, confiscate the illegal weapons. And uh, the Palestinian Authority did not uh, want to confront uh, the armed group in the uh, Jenin area. There are uh, well, uh, well, so Yoni, some, some groups. More so than that, I'm sorry to interrupt, but more so than that, there have been several connections made between Palestinian Authority Chairman Abbas's Fatah party the Fatah-affiliated Al-Aqsa brigades, and the recent spat of terror attacks. How much responsibility does the Palestinian Authority have for these attacks? Officially, uh, uh, Mahmoud Abbas Abu Mazen is the head of the uh, uh, Fatah movement. Right. Uh, he's, not, uh, he's not only the head of the PA, the head of the PLO is also the head of the Fatah movement, as he is in charge of these military groups. Uh, and uh, he has a problem, a similar problem also in Nablus. Uh, also there on February, the IDF uh, uh, killed the terrorist uh, group of the Shuhada Al-Aqsa Brigade who were on uh, the way to make a terror attack in Israel. They were mm -hmm. um, assassinated by uh, the special unit Yamam uh, before they carried out the attack. Uh, and also in Jenin, it's, all, it's almost a daily uh, thing that uh, the IDF has to go into Jenin, into the refugee camp or into, into one of the uh, uh, surrounding uh, villages that whether these uh, military groups are preparing uh, the attacks on Israel, the Shuhada Al-Aqsa Brigade, Sarai Al-Quds, uh, which is the military wing of the Islamic Jihad. They are so all uh, planning attacks on and Israel. Is blocking off Jenin the right move? No, of course not. I'm against the coll collective punishment. Well, what, are, what are we gaining by that? What we need to do is very simple. We have to uh, reoccupy the Jenin refugee camp, put a siege on the camp, and uh, as long as it takes, it might take uh, two weeks, three weeks, go from one house to another, and they check the, the, for weapons and try to locate the terrorists. This is the only way to put an end to this thing. No, so, I, I mean, I was going to ask, are we in the middle of, of a new wave of terror then, or has it not even really started yet as well? No, no, it started already. We saw already in Israel, we saw uh, uh, four attacks in the major cities. And uh, if you uh, watch, uh, you follow the statement of uh, Prime Minister Bennett, the uh, chief of staff uh, Kochavi, they all say they all say that uh, Israel has managed to prevent like uh, 20 terror attacks. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as I know from uh, my security sources, uh, there are more uh, attacks planned uh, for the coming weeks, and also the uh, uh, Shuhada Al-Aqsa Brigade and the right. Sarai Al-Quds, uh, they announced that they want to take revenge of, uh, for, the, for the terrorists who were killed, and that they will revenge in attacks inside Israel. So uh, right. we have a very tough period ahead of us. Yoni Ben Menachem, thank you so much again for joining us.
Thank you. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.